Hello everyone, Megatronic here, aka Kyle. Today we're going to be reviewing APC Toys take on Prime Soundwave, aka their Demonic Whisperer. Now this is the 2.0 version and not the original release, so this is the newer one. And before we get into the figure, let's show off the box. So here's the box in all its glory. Pretty good images and everything. I just noticed that Demonic Destruction but then it's Whisper, so I don't know if it's Demonic Whisper Destruction. I don't know. You guys tell me. And Sad Child. But yep, that's the side. That's the back. That's the other side. Bottom. And top. And he comes in this uh, styrofoam type packaging. Um, if you want to see my unboxing of it, it's right here in the top corner where I do the unboxing of him and a couple other Transformers, so Yeah He also comes with instructions as well Now let's move on to the figure and I want to start off with the details on him because They did a very spectacular job I know on the original first release of this I was not too keen to it because it was a weird he had a purple visor, you know, the darker color scheme. I, I just didn't think the color scheme worked. This version is a lot better. Uh, just how they used the purple and how it, like the line work on him, like on his arms, on his torso, even on laser beak, on his head. Just a well done job. Um, I do wish right here had some purple on it, but oh well, even his feet got the purple paint. Um, I do have one complaint, but it's not really that much of a complaint. Without laser beak in here, they kind of just didn't do the purple lining, <clears throat> which I do wish they did because sometimes if you ever did want to display laser beak out of his torso, you know, that kind of just looks a little plain, but at the same time, most of the time we are going to be displaying our sound wave, laser beak will be in his torso. So. It's not a huge deal breaker, um, but oh well. And there's not much reviews out for this guy yet, well, this version. So, yeah, um, articulation is, this is just a slightly oversized uh, of the deluxe. So, ball joint at the head. Um, because this is no longer spring-loaded, thankfully, um, he even actually hinges head up. And you can, you know, get... A better range than you could with the original one, and I'll compare that in a minute. Arms are on a mushroom peg. So full 360. Uh, at this hinge, you can go up. That's due to transformation, really. Uh, there's a ball joint here at the shoulder. So you can go up, and then there's this pin, so you can go up even further. Get over 90 bend. Go back that far. Got a swivel here, and his elbows can technically go in if you want that as an elbow. He does have a waist swivel. It is tight, and technically, because of transformation, he does have an ab crunch. Legs, you can do the big boot. He can't really do the splits. Uh, that's how far his legs can go, and that's how back they can really go. That's how back they can go. His knee can do uh, 90 degrees. I'm not going to do the chicken legs with them. I, in my opinion, I think the chicken legs are stupid on Transformers, but that's just me. And the feet, they can move all the way forward because of transformation. The heel can also move back to accommodate for stances. So yeah, there's that. And. The only accessory, well, other than laser beak, he comes with is this. And you have to put this together. It's not that hard. Um, I believe these are on like a wire. And this is like a soft rubber plastic encasing it. These are pretty cool. I'm really, really glad that he came with these. And yeah, they're, they're a great addition to this Soundwave figure. And here is laser beak. He is nicely painted. Uh, nice purple on them, even on both sides of the wings, and uh, yeah. I do wish they put purple here at the front for like the eyes, or the blasters. But yeah, this is a cool little figure. And to transform him, all you do is move uh, these wings up, and then you fold them a bit, 
and then he just goes into sound his torso, like I showcased earlier. Now let's move on to some comparisons. Before we do, I want to give a huge shout out to Good Seven Bad Thirteen. Me and him had a race between our sound waves. The funny thing was, they arrived at the on the same day, about roughly probably the same time too. Um, Good Seven Bad Thirteen does scale it reviews, and he loves to scale uh, groups or a particular transformer with many things. And uh, here's a link to one of his videos, the scale it ones, and uh, I hope you guys help him out, check him out. Pretty good friend of mine, and uh, yeah. Now let's get down to comparisons. Here he is with the original R.I.D. Soundwave, and I don't know if he's gonna stand. There we go. He is a bit. He's leaning forward a tiny bit. Um, mine has a broken thigh mushroom joint. Sorry about that. I'm gonna try and get him to stand straight. Probably not gonna happen though. There. Uh, as you can see, he is a lot smaller than, well, not a lot smaller, but there's a noticeable size difference there. So, yeah. And this guy's obsolete to me now after I spent uh, about $60 on him last year. Yay. Uh, here he is with some other Hasbro Prime figures, or just official moles that by either Takara or Hasbro. Here he is with... Wild Rider, Transformers Prime First Edition Starscream. Please don't say anything about his legs. Uh, I had to do those because I my First Edition Starscream did not come with legs. Here he is with uh, Hasbro's uh, Car Vehicon and Dakara's Jet Vehicon. Here he is with. Uh, or APC Toys Dark Master and uh, Attack Prime. And finally, here he is with Voyager Earthrise Optimus Prime and 86 Jazz, just so you guys can get uh, a comparison, because I know a lot of people have these two figures in their collections. So, Soundways are roughly just a smaller Voyager. Now, because I was requested to have transformations in my video, thank you. For responding uh, I will post your comment in on the screen so now let's get down to transformation so what I like to do is I remove laser beak because he goes on the top if you guys if you want him on the top you want to unpeg the backpack I suggest putting your fingers here because this is uh, not rubbery plastic but I do fear a breakage of it if too much force is applied to it Push that out. You want to push out his thruster, which is a little tight. You want to bring down his head, like so. Bring up this back piece and it will tab in. It'll click in, like so. You want to come to the front here. You want to bring all the legs and everything together, like so. Push it all in. Push that all together. It should just go. Um, I do have trouble tapping this in together. This tab right here can be a bit tricky. Bring this up. Make sure that's tabbed in. Bring these feet down before you flip out this foot. Flip out that landing gear. Continue to bring them down. So bring down the front of the jet. Tab that together. Bring that down. And then you want to bring that down and bring that up like so for the arms you just want to flip this part in and this section oops, sorry this hole right here will tab in right there so and then this little slot or port tab into that slot like so then you want to rotate this and then from the shoulder, you will unpeg it from right here, like so. Bring that down, flip it. You wanna bring this down the mushroom peg, and then this slot will go into this hole. Like so. Same thing with the other side. Untab, bring it down. Rotate this around. Face it like that. Bring in the front of the arm, 
port this into the slot and put that into that slot and there we have it this is his uh, drone mode and if you want this this front of the jet on my copy does not like to stay together too well but i don't i'm not really gonna have this guy in jet mode because i'm just gonna have my original sound wave be the jet uh, if you want you can take laser beak and just bring up his fins and then tap him right here and uh, yeah here we have Soundwave in his jet mode and I do think it's rather done well very nice figure overall good quality this doesn't feel like a knockoff it feels like something Hasbro would put out hell it feels like trans like it feels just like the plastic that was used for the original Soundwave I mean if you were to tell me that this was the original Prime Soundwave, first I would have said, oh, I didn't realize it was this big. But other than that, like, without having any knowledge, uh, I would think this is Prime Soundwave. And uh, yeah, just a great figure done overall. And Fiocomo is really well done. Um, I'm really glad that they kept the purple on the sides here. I just think it really capitalizes the look of Soundwave, and I'm glad they made this thruster like a gunmetal color with purple bits sticking out, like glowing. I really think this is very well done. So, yeah. Now, one comparison I will do. And here he is with the original Soundwave, so you can see the size difference, basically. But, yeah. Sorry, not a good camera angle, but I can't really zoom out anymore. But you can just see how much bigger he is. And the darker color just is way better. So, yeah. Uh, I can't show you the thruster bit that I was talking about, but this just had a blue one where this is actually painted. And the funny thing is he's cheaper than he's going on the aftermarket now. So that's been my look at APC's Demonic Whisperer, or Demonic Destruction Whisperer. And uh, should you get this figure? Yes. Um, you should get the $10 shipping method with TS Safari. If I didn't mention, you also get a sheet of the Subticon stickers, like I showcased in Dark Masters Review. This is an amazing take on Prime Soundwave, and is a good way to get your hands on an upscaled version of this mold. And I gotta say, quality-wise, is up to par, if not a little bit better, than most Hasbro product. And this has been Mattronic. See you all in the next video.